India's merchant sports sector made history last week. The Chinese flag specialist merchant ship Zhenhua 15 docked at India's spanking new Vihinium port in Kerala. For Zhenhua 15, it was just a 42 day journey. But for the Vihinium port, the arrival of the ship marked the end of a three decade long wait, where it finally had adequate infra capability to accommodate a mothership. Adani's ambitious Vihinium port is reportedly set to revolutionize India's maritime landscape. Not only does the port put Kerala on the map for the world's biggest container ships, it also allows India to grab a bigger slice of the international maritime trade currently dominated by China. Until now, the biggest container ships had been skipping India because its harbours weren't deep enough to handle such vessels. They instead docked at neighbouring ports such as Colombo, Dubai and Singapore. Mundra can accommodate largest of the ships, okay, and but Mundra is on the northern tip, okay. So what happens? See, if you look at India, no, geographically, you have east coast, you have west coast. Again, on the west coast is a very long coast. Mundra has 18, 18, 19, 18 meter plus draft. So point is that Mundra and Vallad Param or JNPT and or, or Vijinjam or these are two different ports, different geography, catering to a totally different market segment. So, Vijinjam has to be compared with Colombo. Here is what works for Vihinyam port. First, it's close to international shipping routes that make up for almost 30% of global cargo traffic. Secondly, the fact that it has a natural waterway that can be expanded to 24 meters below the sea. Third, the port aims to offer a quick turnaround of vessels including Megamax container ships. Some experts, however, feel that for Vihinium port to start reaping dividends, a few business factors will need to kick into play. When a ship from China, which most of them originate there because that's, that has become the factory of world, goes to Europe or, or, or Middle East and they have a certain time schedule, you can't add another port. So what would happen? They would make a choice that, okay, I'll use Virginium or I'll use Colombo. Whether they will shift their existing schedule for Colombo to Virginium, it will depend on two things. One okay. is the tariff, what Virginium comes up, Virginium comes up with. It's a private port and they have free, they have, they have free hand to put any tariff they want. Second, how much volume it is going to generate. Unless Vijinjam has around one and a half, two million TU container, at least one million TU container, it will not make any commercial sense for any shipping line to divert even 20% of its mother vessel shipments to Vijinjam. Third is the distance, okay, and, and your strategic location. It is already in place. There is more advantages to the location of this port than just being conveniently along the east-west shipping route. It also broadens India's reach into Arabian waters, where there is a high volume of shipping traffic due to the route that connects the Persian Gulf to the Strait of Malacca. The same routes which have helped China dominate global supply chains will now also begin to reap rewards for India. In 2020, India's container volume stood at 17 million 20 equivalent units as against China's 245 million TEUs. With Adani's spanking new Vihinium port in Kerala, India's tiny numbers vis-a-vis -vis China may just be about to get a thumping boost. What do you think about Vihinium port and how will it help India? Please let us know in the comment section.